Hi, welcome to another new episode on the science revision for primary tree. All right, today we are going to look at the topic on the life cycles of plants and animals. Okay, without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so what have you learned so far about life cycles? Basically, life cycle tells us that、uh, different living things. Okay, life cycles just applies to living things, and living things they need. Uh, to to go through life cycles to ensure that they do not become extinct, all right. So in the life cycles, we have learned that some animals they go through three stages, and some animals they go through four stages of life cycles, all right. So during this uh these different stages in their life cycles, they change, all right, from the different stage one stage to another, and eventually they become an adult, and then. Ah,、uh, the whole cycle repeats again. Alright, I'm gonna show you show you the mind map of a summary of this topic that we have done so far. Alright, so life cycles of animals with three stages. Are you able to name some examples? Alright, here we have chicken, we have cockroach, and you realize. Very important. Many of you have drawn your life cycles. You have drawn a different uh, uh, animals for your life cycles, and you realize that one thing I've noted is that some of you you missed out the arrowhead. All right, remember when you when you move from one stage to another, when you draw these、uh, stages of the life cycle, you must remember to put the arrowhead. We only don't use the arrowhead for labels in science. Let's say we are going to label a, a picture of an egg, and、uh, with the text egg. So we just draw one straight line, and we just write the word、uh, egg, E G G. Okay. But when we look at how an animal、uh, from one stage moves to another stage, grows to、uh, to another stage, we always have an arrowhead. All right. So this is a three stage life cycle. And on this side is a four-stage life cycle. We have a butterfly and mosquito. And、uh, in this topic, we have learned how to compare between these two different、uh, kinds of life cycles. For example, we compare the three-stage and the four-stage life cycles. What are the differences? All right, you realize that、uh, mainly the four-stage life cycle it has one additional stage. And what is that stage? Yes, it is the pupa stage. Okay, and you realize that mainly these are the insects that actually go through this stage. Alright, you realize that not just animals but also plants. Plants go through a life cycles, and、uh, we、uh, usually classify it as a three stage life cycle. Okay, from a seed to a young plant, or we call it a seedling, and eventually it grows into an adult plant. And an adult plant actually produces seed, and the life cycle continues. Okay, it's a very straightforward topic. Uh, on the life cycles, and one thing, some of the common misconceptions that、uh, some of you have made. Okay, you have to be mindful. Okay, there's a there's a difference between life cycles and stages in the life cycles. Okay, I cannot say that butterflies have four life cycles. Is that true? No, butterfly have four stage life cycles. Or four stages in its life cycles, okay, and there is the difference, okay. And you must remember that the life cycles it goes on and on. So we do not say that it starts from the egg and then it ends as an adult. No, it goes through the life cycle as a whole process. It's a continuous process, just like you know,、uh, some of you in my class I have mentioned that it's like wheel. It goes round and round and round, okay. All right. Okay, so basically that's the summary for this topic, and now I want to move on to、uh, the vitamins worksheet, the open ended section, and look at some of the common mistakes that you have made、uh, in this topic. All right, if you have your vitamins worksheet, could you take it out, please? And let's turn to worksheet one. All right, worksheet one. Okay, for part B, this is a this is a question on the life cycle of a plant. Okay, for many of you are able to tell me、uh, which stage, uh, uh, the how it actually evolves from a seed all the way to an adult plant. Okay, for part B. 
Okay, a very important thing to know about germination of a plant is that it needs this, uh, these three things, three very important things to be present. And you need water, oxygen, and warmth. So how we can remember this? We remember this as WOW, W-O-W. -W. Okay, and part C, before the appearance of the first true leaves, the true leaves means the, usually we call it the green leaves, okay, which part provided the developing seedling or the young plant with food, okay, and that is the seed leaf, the, or we call it seed leaves if there are many of them. Seed leaf, how you remember, it's like, you know, you you drink your green bean soup and all those, and you realize that inside the yellow, yellowish thing, that is the seed leaf itself. Before a plant can actually make its own food, what it does is that it depends on this seed leaf for its food, okay, and you realize that as, uh, as it starts to grow, then the seed leaf becomes smaller and smaller and becomes all shriveled out. It's because um, it has used up the food and uh, when the true leaves, the green leaves eventually grow out, it can start to make its own food. All right? That's the amazing thing about plants. Okay, next, moving on to worksheet 2. Okay, worksheet 2 about mosquitoes, about a uh, life cycle of different organisms. Okay. So now we have a flow chart. Okay, it starts here and it moves on A, B, C, D. So four different organisms here or four different animals. Okay, so now we look at part A. Can animal B be a mosquito and why? So you look at B and now remember what we did in class is that we do this like the snake and ladders. We move up the ladder. So now B. It says that spends part of its life cycle in water. It says no. Is that true? Does a mosquito, or rather, mosquito does not spend part of its life cycle in water. Is that true? No. So that is definitely not true. So we know that B cannot be a mosquito. Oh, in fact, in my answer here, I missed out writing a no. The answer for why, how I will explain why will be mosquito spends part of its life cycle in water. Yes, can you name the stages which uh, the mosquito spends in the water? The egg, the larva, or the we call the squig squiggler, okay, as well as the pupa stage. And then finally it becomes an adult, does it still stay in water? No, it does not. Alright. Okay, part B. How will you describe the life cycle of animal D? Okay, so now we look at D, then we move up. Spends part of its life cycle in water? No. So the, I can use this as my first description. It does not spend part of its life cycle in water. Okay, then it moves further up. Has three stages in its life cycle? Yes. This is my second description. It has three stages in its life cycle. So you realize that I give one mark for the part on three stages and one mark for the, if you mention it does not spend any part of its life cycle in water. All right. Okay, so far so good. Let's move on to worksheet three. Worksheet three, now we see a life cycle of a cockroach and you realize that, wow, this is one big lump here. You have two A, two B, two C. But you realize that I drew this large uh, circle is to tell you that this is all part of one stage. All right, just like you in primary one to primary six, you know, you're, you're still in primary school, but it's still, yeah, it's, st it's still one stage of this life cycle. All right, so you have your egg stage, you have the nymph stage, and then the adult stage for the life cycle of a cockroach. Okay, part B, many of you still do not remember how to spell molting. Molting is the shedding of the skin. What does it need to shed its skin? It's because it starts to grow bigger and therefore it sheds its skin. Okay, the proper word is called molting, M O U L. T I N G or the just the verb itself is called molt M O U L T. Alright, part D. Write down two differences you observe. You observe, you realize I underline this word. So it's it's asking you what do you see from the diagram? Is it asking you about what you know from the uh, know about the animal? No, it's asking you about looking at a question, looking at the diagram, looking at the pictures given to you here. Alright, 
So write down two differences you observe between the cockroach at stage 2A and the adult. So looking at the picture, 2A and an adult, one thing we can definitely compare is the size difference. So which one is smaller? Yes, the one in stage 2A. So I write here, the cockroach at stage 2A is smaller than the adult. So there must be some kind of comparison. I cannot just say the cockroach at stage 2A is small. Okay, does it tell me whether the adult is smaller or bigger? Yeah, so you have to be very specific when you're comparing. Tell me about the cockroach at stage 2A and then tell me about the adult. Okay, so the part two, the same thing. Can I mention about the adult can fly whereas the, stage, the cockroach at stage 2A cannot fly? No, in this picture here, can you see anything flying? No, we don't observe any of that here. So be very precise here. But what we do can what we can see here, okay, this I will consider this wings and while this I can't really see wings. So I can say the cockroach at stage 2A has no wings, but the adult has. Okay? So this is how you can observe the pictures, the diagrams given to you and answer accordingly. Alright? Moving on to worksheet 4. Aha! Uh -huh. Worksheet 4. So now I have a classification chart shows a life cycle of uh, three different groups of animals. Okay, so now I have group X, Y, and Z. Part B. What do you notice about the life cycles of insects here? Okay, insects, you realize that insects appear once or twice here. Twice, right? So I have here insects under group Y and insects in group Z. Why? Why do I have insects appearing at these two different, uh, uh, different parts of this uh, classification chart? Ah, you realize this. Can you name an insect with three stage life cycle? Yes, here we have a grasshopper. I'm sure you can name some more. And then four stage life cycle. Are there insects with four stage life cycles? Yes, you have butterfly, you have a uh, mosquito. All right, so you realize that hey, both grasshopper, butterflies, they are insects, but they have different stages. Some have three stage life cycles, some have four stage life cycles. So. I can write the life cycles of the animal uh, of the insects, not animals. Insects are either three stages or four stages, or you can say that they can be either three stage life cycle or four stage life cycle. There is a difference. Be careful of this word or. I cannot say that the life cycles of insects are three stage and four stage. How can it be three stage and four stage? There is a difference, you know. It is either three stage. Or four stage. It cannot be both. If both, you'll be very scary. Alright? Okay, that's for worksheet four. And then moving on to the last worksheet, worksheet five. The last part. Why does a frog need to lay so many eggs at a time? So this question asks us why so many eggs? Many of you are able to answer that some of the young may be eaten by predators or some may be the predators may eat them but that is not good enough that is not that doesn't tell me why I lay so many eggs i can also lay one uh i can also have the frog lay one egg and uh, that's perfectly fine what right but they lay so many eggs there must be a reason okay what is the reason the reason is that it lays many eggs to ensure that at least some of them will survive some of them may get eaten up but that's okay at least some of them will survive so two points there's been two marks have been given for this question the first mark some may be eaten by predators that's correct and then so so even though some have been eaten at least some will survive so that's the second part of the answer that's required here all right so that's it for this um I hope that this has been uh, helpful for for you in your revision and uh, this uh, this topic is quite straightforward 
okay and on youtube i think you can uh, watch many interesting videos on the on how the how the different animals you know they move from one stage to another uh, i i remember uh, showing it to to my classes you know uh, some uh, the bees you know the bees how they they lay the eggs inside um the the nest itself you know and uh, and they just stay in the oh it's just amazing i i i guess you can just uh search on youtube you know how bees you know they the they move from uh, different stages from the egg to the uh, uh to the lava stage you know and how even eventually they move to the pupa and uh to the adult stage okay so that's it for this uh revision video and i hope you have a great uh september holidays for those of you who are uh enjoying your holidays right now all right see you again bye